Good morning, good morning. Today I'm going to be sharing a city park and beach that has a rich history. The park I'm going to be talking about today is Gulfside City Park. It's located off Cassia Bell Road at the end of Algiers Lane. The beach is also known as Algiers Beach because of a boat called the Algiers that once resided here. Not in the water, on the actual parkland itself. But more about that in a minute, let me just show you exactly where Gulfside City Park is. Looking straight ahead of you is Cassia Bell Road. Dead ahead in the clearing in the trees there is the children's centre of the islands. And the very next road is Algiers Lane, which takes you down to Gulfside City Park. Going along Algiers Lane, you will see Gulfside City Park dead ahead, and the pink buildings to your right hand side are Ocean's Reach Gulf Front Condominium Resort. Dead ahead, you'll see the parking lot. There's bike racks, a drinking fountain, outside showers, restrooms, picnic areas, and barbecue grills. Back to the reason why Algiers Beach got its name. The Algiers boat was built in a Cincinnati shipyard in 1925. It was used for 25 years to haul cars across the Mississippi. Fast forward to 1958, when a wealthy Boston couple, Helen Brown, a shipping heiress, and her husband, Lathrop Brown, a New York congressman, who was also Franklin D. Roosevelt's college roommate, bought it at an auction. They purchased 30 acres on Sanibel with a thousand feet of beachfront to accommodate the 155 foot boat. The boat was given an extensive makeover. They added a huge paddle wheel and smokestacks. The inside had Italian terrazzo floors, French marble countertops, and the sinks were inlaid with gold seahorses and had gold-plated faucets shaped like dolphins. To get the boat up onto the beach, a canal had to be cut from the Gulf of Mexico across to their land. The canal was filled back in after the boat was in place. Unfortunately, the Browns never took up residence. In November 1959, Mr. Brown died. Broken-hearted Helen returned to Boston. After her death in 1979, the city of Sanibel purchased the boat and the land. In 1982, an auction took place to sell as many parts of the old ferry as possible. The land was turned into a park. A few artifacts remain, the captain's wheel, anchor and bell. They are on display at the Sanibel Historical Museum and Village. Make sure you come and check out Gulfside City Park on your next visit. It's a fantastic place. I thoroughly recommend it. My name's Nick Adams. Come back and join me for the next one.